and welcome back everyone to our second episode of Let's Play Satisfactory for the Mega Factory build! And today, uh, we've got a lot to do because we need to finish all of this. And we actually need to cover all of this in foundations and tear down all of the trees, except that lovely one there. The one outstanding- oh, I can't believe we still- that joke! Oh dear. But we've got a lot to get to, so the first thing that we're going to do is sort out the power because, as you can see right now, we have no power in-game. So, back at the hub, we're going to check out Obstacle Clearing, which is going to cost us 500 screws. I hate screws! And we've also got t uh, 100, I was going to say 10 hundred, 100 cable and 100 concrete, which is fine. And we need this so that we can unlock the chainsaw. And we're going to saw it all down. Saw it all down? Chop it all down? Harvest! Harvest the world! I like it. So we're going to unlock this, and then the next thing that we need to really focus on today is this, so that we can unlock smart plating to unlock the, the next level of the space elevator, but also the assembler, so that we can automate the reinforced iron plates. So let's work on this. So we're all powered and ready to go. We're going to head over to the constructors now to create those screws and we're just going to store them to get started. But, but nothing, nothing at all. We're done here. So as much as I love this little area that we've got going here, I really want to cover this in foundations. I think it would look quite cool. And then we can harvest all of these and eventually move them over to the main factory, which will be hopefully by the end of this episode, starting off down here. So whilst the screws are, screw you screws, whilst they're stocking up, we're going to be working on this. So now that we're down here, we're going to very quickly, hopefully, hopefully very quickly, just remove all of these and cover this whole area with foundations. And don't worry, we should still be able to cover this with miners. forest. Perfect for biofuel. <laughs> okay, that's a bit over the top. <laughs> so we're just doing our thing. Collecting some biomass. Oh, um, well this, this could be a problem because someone from last week deleted my inventory and now I don't actually have anything to kill them with. If, uh, oh no, if only we could use this, but we can't unfortunately. So we're, we're gonna have to retreat. Oh, oh good, goodness me. I'm gonna have to build myself a little zapper. Go away. I'll burn you at the stake. I'll cook you for dinner. We could be friends. Oh no. <laughs> well. Look what we've got here. Here we go. Come here, piggy, 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 piggy. Boink. <laughs> oh no. He didn't like that. Oh, where? Where is he? Dundalee. I can't do that. I can't do like the, the, the ball thing because I'm, I'm so bad at it. Come here. Come here. Anyway, now that we've got the uh, hogs out of the way, we can get back to work. Actually, where is the... This is the special tree that we cannot touch. I'm allowed to touch anything but this tree. No! No! I thought if it was behind me, it wouldn't get chopped! You, sir! <laughs> you are the tree outstanding in your field! Oh dear, no! <laughs> so after some much love, and probably an hour worth of mowing down, we've destroyed a lot of habitat, 
and we're ready to start building the Mega Mini Starter Factory. <laughs> Let's get over to it. So we have foundations down and uh, we're out of power, which means we're going to have to build some power generators. Now, I tend to stick to about nine or ten uh, biomass generators at most before skipping over to coal. So we're going to try and very quickly get through all of that and we will also take out this little bush. Don't want any bushes around our factory. No beating around the bush today. <laughs> oh dear, the puns. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go and cry in a corner. So with these little pretty puppies, we'll be able to power the whole factory until we get to coal. Hopefully. Let's uh, get them wired up. We're ready to turn on the power. Feel the power. Look at that spike. I, I'm very happy with that. Just a shame we've got to hand feed them all. So now that we've got power sorted out, we now need to unlock the current milestone. Oh no, there's an auto save. It'll be really quick. Uh, this one, part assembly, so that we can create the assemblers and start producing en masse reinforced iron plates and also build up the factory. So let's get that going. Kip, oh. It. It. Ah. Yay! Santa's brought me. Thank you, Ada. Santa's brought me some lovely presents. Uh, I do want to get this one done as well. So as soon as this is sorted, we'll get building. Okay. So part assembly is back, which means we have one more thing to unlock. How beautiful. Ah. We have Logistics Mark II, and it's ready to go. There we go. Time to get started. Oh, that was epic. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor. I also have no idea why it did that. We have power. We have iron, but now we need to have the smelters. We What we need to do right now, if we zoom in, it's pretty much get rid of that setup there. Put it all down here and start building the factory line. So we'll be using manifolds and we'll have a assembly line for reinforced plates. And then we'll work on, hopefully, if we can, getting some rotors done as well. But I'm happy with how it's going at the moment. We're getting there slowly but surely. So we've now got reinforced iron plates you can see them just down here look at them and they're getting stored we also have our plates our rods the solid biomass like i've just mentioned and uh, we do have some stuff off we're gonna have to check that out next time but hopefully in the next episode we will be getting to coal power or at least in the next two but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a thumbs up. And obviously, if you want to see more and haven't already, then do make sure to subscribe. Anyway, guys, until next time, you've guessed it. Ciao for now. And as always, special thanks does go out to all of our amazing supporters who allow me to do this. Most notably, our Solar Eclipse patrons, The Calamity. Bo Papa, Cerebral Tag Trebor, and also JP Zone TV, as well as our Lunar Eclipse subscribers Matt Lippard, Chris McCabe, and Lord of July, and our Blood Moon of the Day, Prada. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching, and as always, ciao for now.